Boop. I'm muted. I'm muted, it's fine. Okay. I'm just gonna talk for a bit because I already know anybody who's coming in my chat after how the last stream ended is one of two things. Either wants to rile me up further or genuinely cares. We're gonna hope it's mostly on the genuinely cares side of things. Chat sometimes gets very toxic in my community to the point to where I'm done letting the talk like the thing is I see people who are toxic in my chat they make mentions they they do things for the most part they're pretty okay chatters but I will definitely remember the names of people who pipe up and try and egg me on just for the sake of egging me on and I'll usually let it slide and I'll let it slide over and over and over and over and over again. And I'll just keep ignoring it. Eventually, though, I'm going to get frustrated and get angry. And that's why I just started banning people. And they are all the names of the people who constantly keep trying to egg me on. Who are, their sole purpose is to just piss me off. I am, I am sorry that I lost my cool on stream. I apologize. That was not very befitting of streamer that is trying to be entertaining. If your viewing experience was disrupted, I apologize. I am sorry.
Egging people means pissing off. I'm not a native English speaker. Uh, not egging as in the egg. 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 I don't know. I don't know how the word egging on. I don't know even how to spell it. Basically, you're just trying to, you, you just, you're just pushing buttons until, you're just pushing buttons until eventually you get what you were trying to, baiting. Bait. There you go. Much better. I just, that, that whole, everything that had just happened definitely just made me feel uncomfortable. These wheels are invested with noble purpose. Every rotation, blessed rest for the warriors of our cause. Morbid joke. Chance to either make you immediately loved or hated. I guess that's kind of how dark humor works. It's either gonna it's either gonna hit its mark and do really good, or it's gonna be really bad. Sounds about right. You're a human being, Baru. You're allowed to become frustrated at times. It's great that you are apologizing for getting that way, but it was certainly a warranted reaction from what was going on. I myself respect and honor you for not being more frustrated than you were. Us well. A welcome advancement in the science of survival. Thank you. Increased chance of looting stagecoach equipment. Every twinkling recollection is another implement at our disposal. Whiskey bottle. Plus one bleed duration. The road calls once more to its dark passenger. Give you the bleed resistance. Magnesium rain. Indiscriminate science. Disorienting blast. You have nothing, you have nothing, you have nothing. Did you see more about meta progression? So how long does that one full run take? A full run takes a long time. Always take trinket chance, I think. I'll take it. It'd be good if we go to the sprawl. It takes about four hours to do a full run right now. More or less. Leviathan drops a 100% bleed damage trophy. Yeah, but that would require me to actually kill the Leviathan, and that just sounds like a bad idea.
Okay. Let's go. It's okay, Abador. Only more people apologized. Zero, thanks for seven. Appreciate that. Thank you. True Lord air. Snow, not Cosmic Sunflower. Alex, appreciate that. Uh, Gold Dragon, thanks for the brand new sub. And uh, Cod Vog Beer, thank you for seven. Appreciate that. Thank you. A chapter Mon, chapter two. this hit for? 8 to 16. Nice. Chunky Panda Bubs, thank you for gifting 10 subs. I appreciate that. Uh, Twitch chat can make my Twitch chat, make me a title that is less derogatory towards Twitch chat. Mods, pick the one you like. In this world, wealth is worthless without purpose. Push on to the inn. Oh no. Rest and resupply await you. Playing leper without milk soaked bandages unlocked, though, is going to be pretty yikes. You know what? Just make my just make it putting chat in the dungeon. Wow, that was goodwill all the way across the board. Precious relics remind us of a time before the end. Nocturnal. That's not bad. Hatred of Fanatics. Flawed release. We're almost on friendly with them. Your coach must be maintained if it is to carry you where you must go. You need reflection if you're going to use this. The first of many forks in the road. Choose your Actually, wait, what what trinket is that? Ride out unbowed. <sighs> On move resist, heal two. On stun resist, armor. On crit, get stressed out. That is not a very good trinket. That is not a good trinket at all. Mm -mm. We're going to the slice, though. We're going to the slice. We're back. We're back. Tempest has increased debuff resistance. You just need one good debuff resistance and you don't get blinded at all. This is I know it's got debuff resist, but it's still only 53. I don't know if I have debuff resist trinkets even unlocked. You can make it. That's the unfortunate part. I don't even know if I have it unlocked. Swine cash. I'll take it all. He's already got minus crit. 
I'm pretty sure. Doesn't he? Yeah, he's already got minus crit, so I'll just give him that. We don't need the slime mold. I'll give you the bandages. A simple choice. At least it should be. Uh I think creature den is the correct take here. Destiny will not be denied. Just because of the plus one mastery. I mean that would also give me mastery, but Creature Den can have so many potentials to it. Depends on what our trophy is. Okay, let's eat those dodge perhaps. tokens. Skeeter? Skeeter. He has two stacks of blind. Alright. Skeeter. This expedition is doomed. Good hit. Magnesium rain isn't strong enough yet, so we're not going to use that. Let us hope to finish this quickly. Okay. This is no time to falter. All right. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Good crit. Alright, he's dead. There we go. Yeah, the 20 crit really sucks. A steady subtraction, an invariable result. Scavenge what you can and be off once more. Cure is lurking, thanks for seven. I need I need to teach my mods how to make a title. You do not need to put this is Twitch chat's title as part of the title. It's okay. I will teach you. That's what chat chose. Yes, but you don't need to announce that that is their title. It ruins the joke. You understand? There we go. It is now fixed. Worry not. Well, this is gonna go either really well or really bad. Let's find out. Started off with blindness. Feels bad. A breakthrough. Nice. Good hit on him.
Okay. I like using indiscriminate science to do the healing if I can. There we go. Eat through all those dodge tokens. There we go. Bacon, thank you. Vog, thank you. Chat, you can't have your title back. It's my title now. It's my title with extra steps. Unfortunate. Through a 75 dodge there. That kind of sucks. Good crit. Oh. Indiscriminate science and leper kind of go hand in hand. Not bad. Oh, got a bleed in there. Good kill. The work continues. Mars, I'm not going to allow for that kind of talk in my chat. I realize that I kind of just ignore things that I don't like in my chat, and they just kind of go away after a while. I'm done doing that. If I see things, I'm going to call it out. In a nice, good manner. But it's definitely time to start cleaning out chat. I've let y'all, by when I say I let y'all have your way of things for too long, I'm not talking about those that have been in my chat for a long time and have been well behaved and all that. I'm talking about the one guys in chat that like to pop their little head up and pipe up and cause a ruckus. Your time is over. The slow suffering begins. I'm done with that. Kids add mid scalding. Unfortunate.
simple variable easily resolved. Hold on to the monologue. We've got ads. The loathing festers. Mm -hmm. Give you that. Perfect. Did I get a mastery token from that or no? There are rumors these rancorous beasts oh. have some demonic spark of other. Do they want to fuck? No, that's good. Respectful. From one tank, from one Giga Chad to another. I'd like to do this fight. That is a lot of dodge tokens, friend. Nice dodge tokens. Whose story am I going to do next? Probably... It depends. If this comp works, probably... Probably Grave Robber or Man at Arms. Actually, probably Man at Arms. We should do him next because... Man at Arms is a way better unit than the Jester right now. Jester needs his skills to even function. That is the unfortunate part. Jester is incapable without his skills. Mm. Softly carry all of your jesters to the nearest shrine so that they might be useful. Gentle nod. Nodders. If that's his thing, if Dismas is appreciative whistle, this man is Nodders. Cloven hooves can be heard ahead. Let's just start with eating up all the dodge tokens. Darn. Haste and carelessness. All marks of the unprepared. Skeeter. Well, that's awkward. me Boy, 
Neat. Unfortunately, Leper has 0% chance to crit right now, which is a little awkward. Not another Skeeter. Thanks, dude. Wow, that was quick. Huh? Oh, neat. I'm gonna enjoy eating this. Hell yeah. Oh, you got me pizza. Delicious. Positively yummy. I'm gonna take off my camera while I stuff my face full of pizza. A calculated generosity. What a welcome one, nonetheless. You know what I'm realizing? Sorry, I'm gonna turn my can on while I, while I explain this. You know what I'm realizing? Getting that 50% extra health trinket actually fucked my run. It made combat super easy. And that's a problem. Because now the Plague Doctor never needed to heal. In fact, no one needed to interact with anyone. And because that never happened, they never built any good relations. So the moment someone got pissed off, that was it. Max HP is actually bad as a start. for all the world to see. Getting punished for playing well. I mean, that's kind of this game in a nutshell. Uh, I don't want that. Hey, thanks for getting five subs. Very much appreciate that, Solus. Thank you. This unkempt study evokes a feeling of the familiar, does it not? Nice. The pitiless stamp of cloven hooves can be heard ahead. Good loop. Oh, yeah. That'll eat a dodge token and the armor token. Keep 
going on the big guy. Put a damage over time for sure. do that. Purge that. the yummy food pizza don't skater this is round four or five it'd be very awkward if you skatered We have good news and we have bad news. The good news, I have eaten delicious pizza. The bad news, I spilled sauce. I need to change my shirt. We will do that at the end. Eat the shirt. <laughs> inviting thee once again chance to become blind when taking damage nice wow that is terrible Tried and tested. 
a bond to be counted on. They shared a joint and became respectful of each other. Learn what can be taught, that you may stand just a little taller at the end. Okay. Rain, fire, and rot. Is there no sanctuary from this madness? Thick mud. The farms and fields of our kingdom overrun with putrescence and rot. you can for wealth no longer has meaning if indeed it ever did hmm Hold on to one bread.
Hi. Was the shirt tasty? It was not. The next stop is leagues away. Plan accordingly. It was chewy. <clears throat> when do you think the correct slash best time to use the bounty hunter is? Well, considering I've never used him yet, don't know. The rancid crop but also, because he takes money, he takes candles of hope, never. The correct answer is never. Alright. After you've unlocked everything, I don't know. Can you bring him into the final fight? Oh god, I have to sneeze. Okay, there's some stress. Move resist. Oh, we got hasted enemies. Plus four speed. Jesus, no wonder they all get to go first. You guys have really high blight resist, so we're just going to do some flashing daggers. Suffering begins. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Bye. <laughs> I can see the leader in you. Nice. Solid disorienting blast. She's almost dead. One. One health. One health again. <laughs> I'm really good at this. There we go. A petty hindrance. God damn, that hits for 23 damage. Nice. The past is gone. Let it die. Not that easy, Wayne. The loathing whispers. Not that easy.
Okay, so what's down this path? Oh, we got a hero. Oh, it's not upgraded yet. Load shot. Yep. Hit. Darn. Added another blind. Oh, good. Guaranteed crit on the next hit. Oh boy. He just leans into it, dude. He didn't give a fuck. Aw, oh, but his... Hold on. Let's see if we can disorient the cannon. Okay, good. That way his guaranteed crit happens after him. Because otherwise he was going to load his shot and give himself super armor. I'm pretty sure a guaranteed crit just outright kills. You know? <laughs> 32 damage. Yup. Pleasant in the extreme. This work is noble and necessary. It's double damage. Um, so he has Tempest, which increases the damage of his chop specifically by 33%. And then crits are 50% extra of your top end. So if you do 8 to 16, a crit is always going to be 50% extra of that 16. But that 16 is first increased. All right. Let's do man-at-arms. Let's do the man-at-arms, dude. Man-at-arms. Chapter 1. A premature promotion. I'm going to be honest. I know what I did wrong. Dude, I know what I did wrong. I I changed up from using the standard comp. I should have used the standard comp until all four of those had all of their skills and everything done, right? That's what I should have done. So we're probably going to go back to Dismas, Man-at-Arms, Plague Doctor, Grave Robber. You use that until all of them have all of their skills. Then, once they all have all their skills, you shepherd a new character one at a time to the shrine best way to do it Boop. that because once they have all their skills you can throw in basically anybody and the rest of the team can adjust but you can't really do that without first having the skills The politics of a military career are perhaps as treacherous as war itself. Though untested in combat, his acumen for advancement was unmatched. Through a dubious campaign of influence and intimidation, he had at last claimed a coveted command and was eager to bask in the glory of the victories that were sure to come. Bellow. Bellow's good. Especially if you can 
if you can get the item that has a chance to apply blight just for hitting and then you add in bellow you give the man at arms aoe blight it's really stupid what's upgraded bellows do removes crit and repost and minus five speed Well, I'm never using ramp. Well, actually, no, I do use rampart. I don't use hold the line. I use we'll replace hold the line with Bella. Yeah, that sounds really good against cultist fights. Toothy and corpulent, slaves to their hunger. How do you turn Man at Arms into a plague machine? Uh, it's, just, it's a very specific trinket from an academy. The minimum damage of that strike was enough to outright kill him. I have to wonder what it feels like to be missed that closely by something that could just delete your entire existence. <laughs> like getting missed by a truck. Stress down. I almost want to say y'all should keep track of how much stress the man at arm actually um, removes. Not that. That's a quirk. That's that's um. That would be considered just a friendship thing. But then again, I'm only in this friendship because of the fact I'm keeping stress low. So you know what? It counts. Is Man at Arms better than Jester? Yes. Man at Arms. The reason Man at Arms is better is because he has better action economy. The Jester can stress heal one person at a time, whereas the Man at Arms can stress heal somebody else and himself at the same time. That kind of action economy is better than the increased stress healing that the Jester has. The two for one deal at a smaller is much better than the Jester's big stress heal for one. Bring it down. A trivial worryment. I honestly think that Jester's best playstyle does not involve him stress healing. At all. Jester stress healing isn't the best anymore. He's not. Man at Arms is the new Jester. Because Man at Arms also has a lot of, like, he. Man at Arms is a much better support role this time around. Instead of. Well, I guess he was a support role in DD1, but he's better at his role than the Jester is. Jester's more combat focused this time around. Which there's nothing wrong with it. It's just where we're at. Bring it down. <laughs> there is comfort in company. So yeah, that two for one right there 
not only put him back, you know, in good standing, but it also got rid of a lot of her stress. The way stress works, if you're three or less, you'll never get negative, like, banter. You'll never get negative banter so long as you stay at three or lower. Technically, negative banter can happen at one stress. One less obstacle in our path. What about Hellion Stress Heal? I don't find Hellion Stress Heal that great. One is... Um... Yeah, we'll take that. One Stress Heal... And it applies a damage debuff to herself. It's not it's it's not something that she can just do. Like Man at Arms and Jester, they can use a churn to do a stress heal. Hers, it hurts her. She can't just go back into doing her regular job the next turn. You know what I mean? Her job is to stress heal, but if she revels occasionally, then cool. The only real way to play that would be to Howling's End, then Revel, then use whatever to um, drain Winded. That's the really only way you can use it. I can just lower everyone's reputation with the Grave Robber. That does not sound like a good idea. Alright, so let's do... You know what? Plus three stress is honestly not that bad. Because he can, he can remove stress off himself. The one thing I really love about the leper is that he can handle his own stress. Because, I mean, you got to think about it. The dude ha is covered in... He literally looks just un like an unhealthy abomination underneath all that armor. He's used to being ridiculed. He's learned how to deal with his own shit at this point. He doesn't need any extra help. Also, he's a king. All right. Got to get rid of the repost. Good crit. That sets it up for the leper. Honestly, I think he probably could have. I think he probably could have killed that even with the armor. There we go. Push the corpse back so that way she goes to the second position. Because the only thing she can do from the first and second is to backsplash, and it literally just does tiny damage. Um, I have no reason to kill her right away. We can stall this out a bit, actually. Yeah. We can stall this out real quick. So he can go and remove a little bit more of his stress. We're going to defend him while he's at low HP. Let's heal that up. Perfect. Not often you usually get to do a little bit of stalling there, but it works. Leper's a great character. I love the Leper. Leper is one of my favorite classes, just straight up. Uh, was one of my favorites in DD1. It's probably the main reason that I hate playing Torchless. If I 
If I had to be honest with you, I, you know what? I, I don't want this corrupting cleaver. Um, the main reason I think I don't like Torchless is that a lot of classes that I really love are just straight trash and useless. Because, like, the lep, you cannot play Torchless and have a leper. One, one surprise, he's in the back line. They thrill to the succulent flavor that grows up from some nightmare pit. Because the thing, the, earth. the problem with Torchless in Darkest Dungeon 1 is that it didn't take other comps really into consideration. It was, you need a comp that can fight Shambler at any given moment. If you're using anything other than that, you're throwing. Because if you play on Darkest, it's just kind of expected you're going to be killing a lot of Shamblers. And Leper is not one of those classes that can handle a Shambler. Unless, like, maybe the rest of the composition is somehow balanced around him getting back into position. I don't know how you would do that. Because the Leper, he only worked, for those that don't play Darkest Dungeon, this character only works in the fir first and second position. He literally has nothing in these positions. He, he can't do shit. I wanted to shuffle the corpse into the fourth position, but no luck. Red Hook Studios. Wait, is that the actual... Wait, hold on. Is that the actual Red Hook? Or is that just someone who managed to take the name? Hold up. Wait a minute. Is that the real devs of the game? Factual. Oh my god. Yeah, we've been going through this update, this Altar of Hope update. I gotta say, as somebody that played a lot of hours from launch, the experience, the unlock system is infinitely better. DD2 is in a much, but not not that, to say that DD2 is in a bad place when it launched. It's early access. Things move around. But the unlocks feel way better. Even though I already know half the items that are currently locked behind those in items, I like unlocking each one. Now we just have to now we just have to fix the friendship system becoming an affliction. <laughs> that's 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 my own that's my only thing that I'm still caught up on is the friendship system. You get respectful, you get buffs. Healing, everything, you're good. You get hopeful, boom. Stress healing, free tokens, you're great. Did you get inseparable? Ah, that's an affliction. It looks like it's friendly. Respectful. Respectful has no downsides. That's the important part here. Respectful and hopeful have no downsides. Amorous and inseparable? Oh. I don't know how many times I have literally tried to defend somebody on death's door and they're like, but we're lovers, how can you do that? And then they die the next turn. Rummage through the shelves, laden with echoes of indistinct ideas. I forget what this gives. Trinket chance, trinket chance. 
I don't know what trinket this potentially is. Huh? Cool. Think carefully. Today's oversight is to now make them have a downside. Please don't make them have a downside. Please. All right, chat. We're gonna use the bounty hunter next zone. If he's a, if he's available, we're gonna use the bounty hunter because I'm gonna be honest. I haven't I haven't actually used the bounty hunter yet because he eats away from the meta progression, which is kind of backwards, I guess. You unlock him, but then you're kind of told not to use him because then it makes it take longer to unlock things. Uh, go for that. He's in. I've heard he. I, I've heard he's a powerhouse, though. I've. I have heard he can put bosses down, which, I mean. I guess the best way to use him would be if you're gonna go to a boss lair and you want the extra muscle. From that aspect, he's good. Nice. That puts him dead in two turns, so I don't actually need to touch him. She's also dead in two turns. So they're, they're both dead on their next turn, so we should just focus on the dog now. How far into the run? Uh, first region. Ow. Ow! The smallest variable can make all the difference. Well, unfortunately, Man at Arms is still stressed out. I was really hoping to get a de stress. In crisis, no gain is insignificant. Uh, I haven't seen, I have not actually seen the chapter boss yet. I remember the chapter boss DLC came out. I did half a run and then I just never came back. So this will be actually the first. I still I still don't even know what the boss looks like. I am actually going to have a but genuinely unspoiled boss fight. The future. Which is a great concept for me, and I'm very excited for this. I'm excited to that's probably why I'm I, I'm enjoying streaming this right now, is I have an unspoiled experience. I'm ready for it. Although it apparently it got nerfed. It used to be harder. So I'm going to fight the nerfed version. So I'm going to tell you right now, Red Hook, if I first try it, re unnerf him, buff him, make it harder. <laughs> if I first try it, you have to take away the nerf. <laughs> Behold the conquering general marching his men to victory. Strategic retreat. Conflicting orders. Can you lose this one? I'm pretty sure this one's impossible to lose. So the idea of it is that basically you're a general that got promoted to this rank, but you don't know a fucking thing about actually giving out orders. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. 
That's also why the enemy doesn't attack it, you. All of his men are dying. It's it's to symbolize all of his men are dying around him. You don't know what the fuck they're doing. Inspire. It added days to everybody. <laughs> Good inspiration. Every man for himself. Attack! <laughs> Damage down! Conflicting orders! <laughs> uh, I told him to go attack, he's like... No. I want I want to go home. A rout, a massacre, a complete and total failure of command. <laughs> I don't see Standfast as that good. To be honest. Not because the skill it not not because the skill itself is bad. I think the skill itself is fine. The problem is with man at arms, his whole kit is so good, you're struggling to find a spot for it. You know what I mean? Like once you unlock all of his skills, you've got so many good ones, that one's just it's really hard to find a spot for it. So you're just meant to lose there? Yeah. So those hero shrines are basically retelling the story of our characters. Uh, you know, we just finished the story of the Plague Doctor who, you know, got ridiculed in class, tried to create a zombie, was successful, and now uh, has to deal with the fact that she made a zombie and had to kill it. Can't find his niche because he's too good at many things. Oh no, he's he's got pretty much one role. It's support the whole way through. Okay, so how do we... Okay, you're probably just going to break. I'm just going to tell you that now. You're going to break. Um, I'm going to put a bear trap on you because I want, a, I want a really solid bleed to counteract that regen you're getting. The guaranteed crit doesn't matter because you don't even attack. That's another blight. Pretty good. Typical. Overlooked again. The slow suffering begins. Now this is the awkward part, is that this is why Leper is sometimes kind of awkward in combat, at least for the first round, because the problem here is that I don't really offer much. I mean, maybe taunt, so that... I think the best move here is probably literally just to try and taunt this guy. And that's it. That is your best move. So, let's do that. That'll eat up the dodge tokens. Yep. 
All right, so you're taking six damage, one damage, two damage, one damage. Uh, I think now's actually a good time to bellow. Reduce their speed. Yeah. There we go. Minus speed, so now three people get to go before the Clarion gets to even do anything. That's much better. Okay, let's try and shuffle him. Good. So that means she has to go first. Since he has the daze on him, she has to go first. And she won't be able to use her guaranteed crit on uh, an AoE attack. It's just going to be a lunge, so that'll be good there. She's still going to crit, but it'll hurt a lot less. Okay. You're going to keep going for that. You know. I like that idea. Okay. Yeah, go for it. Good. So that only hit for two. He's Graham's gonna have a meltdown. He didn't destroy the relationship. Thankfully, we're good. That is one thing to note is that you typically want to try and get always plus one positive with everybody because you can't really go too far. It either goes into the negative or takes away positive. What's your best move right now? Probably to heal him. He probably needs healing. Does he need healing? He needs healing. Healing. Badly. Okay, so you're about to take... You know what? Just do that. Finish him off. I I want that thing dead already. Subtraction, an invariable result. Finish him off. Is that your best move? That's your best move. I hate those guaranteed crits so much. Steady yourself. gonna de-stress ourselves this wound at least has been tended to I went for rep there. Dragged back from the yep. brink. Perfect. So doing things while you're on death's door that benefit anyone other than the person on death's door typically brings goodwill. Even if it is really risky and stupid. Up. 
I almost want her to hit the man at arms one more time. You know? I almost want her to hit the man at arms, stress him out just a little bit. Like, just, just, just stress out by one. Can you do that? Can you stress out by one? And I guess Jester will just start popping drinks. She goes last. We'll go ahead and kill. No reason to stay here any longer. The smallest variable can make all the difference. Stressing out the old man isn't good for his heart. And blaze the trail to your fifty percent damage minus max HP. That is very dangerous on Lever. Leper is going to delete things. That's gonna be a big fucking chop. <laughs> Doesn't even matter if I have less crit chance. Nothing's gonna survive a regular hit. We're gonna move that. I like that trinket. Can we move it on to you? Yeah, let's move it on to you. Give you max HP. Tank it anyway. Uh... Give you some caltrops. Give you some medicinal herbs. Throw away the chocolate. <laughs> 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 Fucking 27 HP leper. Oh boy. <laughs> His armor's made out of fucking styrofoam. It's a cosplay. It's not even really him. Deals more damage than he has HP. Well, I mean, that's accurate in leper standards. We're just making the OG leper. That's what we're doing right now. We would come here in summers of years gone. Giga Chad got tuckered out. Well, I'll tell you this, Giga Chad. It's going to be real easy to keep you above 50% health because you're either at full or dead. So, that'll be easy. All right, so let's take Spend what you can. The wealth no longer has meaning. Honestly, if, if he has tuckered out, hit. we should take solemnity so that way it always takes me over 50. We should take that cuz that'll counter that perk. Eighteen health. Wait. How the fuck do you have 18 HP? What? <laughs> Wait, 50%, oh, 33% plus the 25, oh no. Oh, the end buff is gone. That's his eight, oh God. Give him some bread, please, bread. Eat, eat leper, eat. You're a growing boy. Please, eat your bread. It's very important that you are always under the effects of fucking bread. Listen. Practice. Improve. Um... I think we go ahead and buff Magnesium Rain here. And... Incision. Yeah. Because we're going to need a little bit more DPS and Incision's a very nice upgrade. As well as upping Magnesium Rain. So this will give me a little bit more DPS. We took a survivability upgrade. Um, we still got a bunch of gold here. Uh, let's buy that. Give him the taunt book. 
Bad, good, bad, good, good. All right. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's buy a little bit more flame. There we go. We'll give you more flame. I can tell you it is not good to run out of flame. I've only had it happen once so far. But man, it does not feel good getting that ambush now. Before, it was free loot to get ambushed. Now... Mm -mm. It is just a bad fucking time. Enemies resisting constantly. I think we're good. Like, I don't really want any of these trinkets. Well, maybe, maybe, what, what, is, what does Man-at-Arms have? You know what? I'll give Man-at-Arms, I'll buy that. Man at arms should be easier to heal. And I really don't like sacrificing crit because crit is really nice. Crit is just an amazing stat that you don't want to ever get rid of. Uh, who's friends right now? You're not friends with anybody. Okay. Uh, let's do these two. There we go. You always want to be, try and be in the positive wherever possible. So get rid of the negative first. Uh, do I want to use a plus speed? You know what? We'll use a plus speed on good old leper here who, you know what? <laughs> Just for funsies, let's give the leper eight speed. <laughs> this is the world's fastest leper. You're going to do, he's going to do his job and he's going to do it quickly. He's going to walk in, swing his sword, and something dies. Or he misses. But it's going to be the very first action. Perfect. The provinces and camp tribes of our um, land crumbling and undone. General would be a pretty free win considering all my DPS is the leper. I feel like that'd be a pretty easy win. Yeah. And it's in untouched territory somehow, so that's actually even better. Plus, I don't want to go to negative banter, so... Bounty Hunter? Bounty Hunter is available for hire. He will accompany you for one region. His fee is four candles for the total earned from in this expedition. Select a hero. This hero will meet you in the next inn. Probably, probably Audrey. I'm trying to think here. Audrey is the one that contributes probably the least to my build right now. And could be swapped out. Yeah. Because we're basically swapping a DPS for another DPS. The contract is sealed with a silent nod. One nod. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking people arrive. One nod. So let's see what you got. Collect bounty. Bouncer's belt. Mm-hmm. Collect bounty marked for death. Come hither. Caltrops. Flashbang. Stare down. Cool. He looks dope. Uh, so he works in the third position. Primary. Eight to twelve damage. Fifty percent extra on a mark. Damn. Okay. But what are your... I'm going to be honest. What are your ranged options? Because Audrey was my ranged option. Caltrop spam. Cool. You're going to spam the fuck out of Caltrops. Awesome. And flashbangs. Damn, flashbang is fucking good. Stare down. 
self taunt, remove wounded, target. Wow. Okay. I like that. I think I might just make him full disrupting. Like, that's another way you can. Like, Bounty Hunter can go kind of one of two ways. He can either go, like, you know, set him up for raw damage, or you can just go disrupting. I've always found, like, Disruption Bounty Hunter the best version of him. He's fragile, but calm. Let's go here. Mud and rain, resignation and death. I'm saving these bad boys. Barren. I'm saving those. Into the tangle. Let's do it. <clears throat> Check the banner. He has a passive. Does he? I didn't check the banner. What is his passive? Rewards only. Resignation. Bounty Hunter Path. On time, on budget. This passive is that he recycles combo? Wait. He doesn't consume combo? He just recycles it? Oh, that's fucking nuts. He has a 50% chance to recycle combo. Wow. That is actually really, really good. You can almost stun lock a character. All right, so we're going to want to go to the lair. Lair's on the right side after we go back in. Do I want to go to the oasis? Kinda. Kinda. But then... I uh no let's go for the let's go for the fight because i'm gonna want to get rid of this loathing as quickly as possible and if we do the cultist fight that'll reduce it you need to unlock skills yeah i think you need to spend candles on him and he'll have even more skills I would love to see what is like, um, like what his frontline DPS is like. You know, that's also, you know, I will say that is actually a good use for him. So I want to take this fight, right? Uh, Barrison also wants to take this fight, but the Plague Doctor and. Uh, the Plague Doctor and Leopard don't. So if I pick him, we've got two negatives for mood. But if I select it as the Bounty Hunter, he doesn't care. He's here to do a job. And because there's no relationship, I don't have to worry. He's here to do the job. Alright, Leper, how fucking hard do you hit? 11 to 29. 11 to 29. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This guy's only got 21 health. <laughs> this guy's anointed. I just took half of an anointed large enemy's health with a non-crit attack. That's disgusting. Anyway. Oh, dude, that's fucking sick. Yo, let's see that one more time. Come here. Yeah, that's fucking... That's good.
Yeah, I like it. What else we got? We got Caltrops. I gotta do it just for that. I'm sorry. I know I just shuffled y'all into back into position, but I gotta do it just for that. Oh, here, I'll send you back. It's fine. <laughs> Perfect. Now you both go last. Die. You can tell when I start having fun. All right. So what else you got? Flashbang. Blind, Daze. Wow, nice. Stare down. So, stare down on, say, a character like this. He can't hit the fourth row, right? So, this is just me adding weak to him, really. Which is very good because he's. Nope. I mean, it still works. He's got Repost now, so he's going to have two weak Repost. Thankfully, Giga Chad does not care. He does not care about your pathetic Repost. Ow. All right, we'll take that. We'll take that. I love this item. Oh, I love this item. This is such a good item. Yeah, we'll take everything. I'll, I'll be able to use all of that. The loathing whispers. I will not undervalue a shuffle grenade with my awesome leper right now. So, unwavering standard. Gain on miss, damage down. Easiest character to put that on is definitely the Plague Doctor because I don't care about really a damage down usually. Most of my damage is in the bleed. Yeah, the actual... I'm The only time I'm really spamming incision is if I have nothing else to do. I'm not really worried about that. Like, I'm not going to spam incision on... Uh, trying to get rid of dodge tokens. There's better ways to do that. Does destroying trinkets give anything now? No. You no longer get meta progression by yeeting everything out of your wagon as you get it. Which was definitely weird as an unlock system, let me tell you. It got even weirder when it was more beneficial to not even not even buy trinkets to dismiss, but to just just to just dismiss straight up currency. You hit for five to fifteen through armor. Or hold up. Never mind. No, he's giving everybody 200% movement resist. I forgot. Leper can only chew through one person at a time. Well, this is going to be annoying. Okay. Well, time to spam Caltrops. Time to earn your keep, Bonnie. There we go. We'll do a magnesium rain. An unavoidable end. This is going to be an annoying fight. I got to say, this is probably my, my most hated combination in the Tangle. This exact combination. Two, two of the foot soldiers, a penance dude, and the drummer. Because the way this works is that if you kill him, if you kill this guy first, he's just going to res him. And then it's really hard for you to kill this guy because he keeps spamming taunt on the first two soldiers. So you have to keep constantly 
damaging the drummer as much as possible. Then you can handle the rest of the encounter. And if you don't have somebody that can hit that line, it gets real bad. This is when I feel the loss of the grave robber. Yep. See, this right here is why the grave robber was in the was in our comp in the first place. She hit the very back. She hit position four. Specifically, position four. And because these guys have 200 move resist, I can't just move them into a better position. I think I know why I now hate this fight. This is the only fight that makes you like, typically you want to have, typically you want to have damage that can hit a specific position or things like that. But there's options usually if you can. This one just tells you, fuck you. We don't care about the options. All right, he hasn't penanced yet. Also, you don't want this guy to be the last one alive because then he just AOE nukes the rest of your team. Uh, he'll die to burn before anything else, so we're good there. Hell yeah. Sorry, that one was just for for style. Is directed. All right. The most despised comp. I love Echo. I gotta say, I like that you have managed to actually make that fucking composition through emotes because I've never seen a more accurate just line. That is beautiful. You got the drummer, you got the Prage, and then you got the two I'm fucking invincibles in the front. Because that about sums up that comp right there. Okay. Alright. There it is, chat. That's what I want you to just, if we ever see that composition when we're in the tangle, just have that at the ready. All right, chat, just have that at the ready. All right, so you're blind and your chances of you hitting this is pretty slim, so... Uh, I gotta ask, is this your best move? Yes, but as a purge. We either, we either wipe... We wipe our blindness, because I don't care about the stress. So this will get rid of our blindness without reapplying new blindness, and it eats the dodge token. And maybe I'll just get lucky. You know? Just hit the 25 there. Ideally, I wanted to send her to the third position, so that way... She wouldn't do... She wouldn't be able to hit the front right now. The slow suffering with, with the bleed. So much blood. Okay. Well, actually, we have a come hither. This is where come hither is going to really, like, really come into play here. So let's actually, well, come hither has damage attached to it. So that'll break armor. I'm not worried about that. Let's lower their speed. Or at least try to. Bring him on over for the leper. And look at that. It's got a combo on it, too. And it doesn't combo and chop. Yeah, it ignores blind when target. 
It has combo. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. <laughs> he brings them forward. Leper slices them in half. That is such a wonderful combo. Delete. Uh... Do we want to put fire on everybody? No. He's... He's, he's squishy. We got to remember, Leper's squ as squishy as Dismas right now. I got to treat Leper as I would Dismas. Is Leper at low HP? I don't really care. Dismas at low HP. Now we got problems. Um... Okay. This is, uh, this is a problem. We're back to the original lineup. Oh boy. played pretty hard there were quite a few misplays in this one but that's okay I think I think we can fix it I think we can unfuck it very carefully and the way to do that is a whole lot of caltrops weaken them that another may finish the work All right. Let's see what he does. Good, he's bone weaving. We do need to kill one of these two. One of these two gotta die. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put a defender on the plague doctor. So that way he's taking that damage. And then we can just do that and that'll heal you. But this one's gotta die. Now. Like, we need to get that set it that set up now. Oh, there's Death's Door. Dope. Sick. Thank God I made my leper super fast. That way he gets to go first and risk dying. It's no big deal. It's fine. We're all good. We're all good here. Yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, I think we're gonna medicinal herbs off that ten bleed. Has been tended to. All right. This is where, if in discriminating science was you know upgraded, I could have just wiped out all of his debuffs. All right, so what do we want to do here? 
probably confirm the kill onto you. <laughs> Glad I did it, because we, we wouldn't have rolled the 5%. I feel nothing. That is not a death door, though. That'll bring him to one HP. We're good. One HP. The God. Bring him over. There. Okay, so that forced the dash there. Really? He's... We're gonna... Okay, well, we took the one HP. <laughs> I really thought we were gonna survive that, but I guess not. Fuck you. Thankfully, the Plague Doctor goes here. Let's just heal you for a nice good old 17 there. All right. We really need to get this fucking altar dead. That gives him the possibility of healing too. Fuck, he missed. Finally. Bounty Hunter dies, doesn't matter. Plague Doctor dies, we got a problem. heels left. I'm going to be honest. I really think take, taking the bounty hunter killed me. Because we lost our backline DPS with Audrey. Audrey was my main backline DPS. And the bounty hunter, for as good as he is, did not fill the specific role that I needed. <laughs> I did, I knew he wasn't that good of a position four fighter. I just kind of wanted to bring him along. I'm just acknowledging what killed this run, and that was bringing the bounty hunter. I'm still happy I did it though. If for no other reason, the rope swing. That was worth it. That was worth dying for. Man, fucking Audrey POV. Just mod check for days. Team? Team? <laughs> we were supposed to meet up at the end. What happened? Let's think about Audrey for a second. She's at the next end. Team? We are supposed to get here days ago. What happened? Work 
continues. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> okay, him. Okay, him tooting at the fucking, him tooting at the grave was pretty BM. I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty BM. <laughs> Oh man. I love that they'll do that. See, in Darkest Dungeon 1, you didn't leave corpses, so there was no BM potential. But now there is, and I hate it. I fucking hate it. <laughs> All right. Uh, two to three damage, one to two. All right. I am just going to. S he has 30 health. <laughs> Oh my god. The amount of swings you're gonna have to do, Barristan. Alright. I believe in you. You've got this. Excellent work. Yep. Well, he can't target the grave anymore. And there's your dodge token. Will he do it? Is he gonna live? Is he gonna live? There, death's door. Not today. I swing again. You're gonna need a lot of top ends there, buddy. Ah, the death blow. At last. The battlefield God, dude, that reminds me of the plague doctor who just went like 17 death doors and was like, nope, I'm still going. Deepen your understanding. He took all and victory will <laughs> Not only did he kill the run, he also took all my money. Uh, fuck. <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> Fucking paid to throw. <laughs> Deal's a deal. Now Deal's a deal, I guess. Forever in this lightless obscurity. Indistinct and ill lighted. That no said, awaits you here. Red Hook, if you're still in here, I think four candles for one region is a bit of a steep price, I'd probably put that to two. Because four feels real bad. But I get that he's also there for payment, so I'd leave it to two. Uh, resentment. Left unsurfaced, grievances gain a terrible strength. We required the highest standard of empirical evidence. Lest my career and your future. Six candles. By the cynicism of our peers. 120 candles. Take it or leave it. The crossroads. Wait by the lantern's light and welcome what help may come. All right. So. Uh, okay. So we're just going to. We're just going to. We're has been struck. We're doing what needs to be done, which is no no deviation until it's done. So we go surgeon on you. I don't know if I liked sergeant. Sergeant just feels like trash. I'm going to be honest. The only reason sergeant is good, maybe maybe is if you're doing leviathan and that's it as the only reason to use him but then you have to ask yourself why would i willingly go to the leviathan ever why would i willingly go there <laughs> we already know the leviathan is a giant pile of shit for content for content. Let's do it. Do I even... Do I like Rogue? 
I mean, I guess it's better than not, like. I feel like we go rogue just because there's no real downside to having it. But I don't think I play him in a, any specifically different manner. I don't think I should start him off in first position. Unless I have the build to do it from the start. But I guess I could do point blank. I guess I could just start off with point blank shot. I guess I could just start every fight with point blank shot. Let's do it. All right, so ready to spend candles? You'll see. You'll see where I get to spend my fucking one candle. All right, so we're not going to play you any differently. You're still going to be like pistol shot, duelist advance, take aim, point blank shot, and... Double tap, double tap. Dude, double tap's so fucking good. It's so, like, that's why the gun version of Dismas was a godsend, because double tap with gun version Dismas, you basically just kill everything. Uh, then what else do I want? Open vein. That way I have a melee option. I'm gonna learn for, I, I need to, I had to learn from my mistake of always have a melee option, even if you're range primary. Uh, Barristan, we're just gonna change out, hold the line with Bella. Actually, no, I actually like hold the line. I don't even, I'll take Bella. Bella for dodge stripping. Take off ounce, put on magnesium rain, keep incision. Indiscriminate, blinding gas, good. Yeah, that'll work. All right, time to spend our one candle. Hearts and minds will carry the day. <laughs> Bring on the you know what? Trinket or combat item, chat. You got one candle. Where would you chat? Where do you want to spend your one candle? Do you want to unlock a trinket? Or do you want to unlock a combat item? Where do you want to spend your one trinket, chat? You can't afford stagecoach or in items. Those are two candles each. You only have one candle. A lot of chat is saying trinket. Most of chat is saying trinket. Combat items would allow me to potentially roll laudanum. Because, man, laudanum is nice. Let me tell you. A trinket could be anything. It could even be a trinket. Trinket for sure. All right, we're doing trinket. A drop of sanity. While on death's madness. door, you will either gain crit, big dodge, or just lose stress. Not a bad trinket. Good, good trinket chat. Good trinket. When I when I'm dying, I might get minus two stress before I die to the dot. That's on me as well. <laughs> Good trinket. We're gonna put it on you, old man. I put it on you. <laughs> but laudanum, that trinket died for laudanum. That could have been laudanum. That could have been laudanum, chat, but instead, you have Death's Door Grandpa. Desperate what do you have to say for yourself? Walking. Will you rip off their earnest, please? I like food. Food is good. An unexpected find. Oh yeah, all bread. Hell yeah. You have a laudanum addiction, but it's so good. Madness. 
Um, what do I want here? Definitely pick the pipe weed. Pick the playing cards. I don't really see much else that I care about. I don't really, I don't really see anything else that I care about here. No. Trinkets, charms. No, I don't really care about those either. I'll just save my money for something. I don't have to spend it. I can just move on. Minus one stress combat items is a game changer. It really is. There's a reason laudanum is the, one of the you most powerful a change in the air. combat items in the game. Is that being able to just remove stress is a good thing. And because you're removing somebody's stress, using it on somebody who's stressed out typically farms up free um, good friendship tokens. That's another reason that Laudanum is so strong. Because if you use it on somebody that is stressed out, chances are you're going to build good relations as well. Where's the dagger going to hit? Right there. Okay. A promising and then they become amorous. True. Okay. Yeah, I like having open vein there. That's good. Perfect. Straightforward and effective. Pretty good. I like I like the feeling of this comp so far. Are you shaken? There is so much worse in store. Alright. Do 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 I think I, I for this comp specifically, I think I know exactly what I wanna upgrade. I think I know exactly what I wanna upgrade here. The fire is lit. The table is set. The best two upgrades favorite guests. Let's see, the best two upgrades are going to be bolster to keep stress under control. And then poison dart. Because the main thing we suffer from right now is bad third to fourth position damage. We have so much damage for positions one and two. Three and four, we need a DPS up. So doubling the dot damage from poison dart will be great. That's the only downside with Surgeon is that it kind of strips away one of Plague Doctor's things of like dealing backline damage. <clears throat> bounty Hunter already? Uh, we're definitely not taking the Bounty Hunter. We're definitely not. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Good, good, bad, good, good. All right. Y'all just go ahead and smoke, get away with. Uh, where are we going? Slice? Everywhere in slice. Alright, well, we're gonna save our Everywhere bread then. We don't need the bread if we're going to the slice. Um, Don't really care about any of this. We don't need to buy combat items Learn this early. Taught, that you may stand just a little taller at the end. Yeah. Let's go. But bread. How does the bounty hunter work? He replaces one of my people, and then... Um, he replaces one of my people, and then Dread basically takes away four candles. <laughs> and then this and then dies. Oh, we're definitely going for a creature den. Nice. So when you're going through the slice, you should always take either cultist, or creature den if they ever show up take one of those there's a guaranteed mastery
Uh, I don't really need to taunt them with food, especially for this is yeah, those are the same things. Okay, we'll do that. Also, swine cash. I don't know if I value swine cash over. If I had the option between. This could just outright kill. 50, I mean, I think 50% chance for just a straight up kill is worth it. Yeah. I had to go for it. It was still worth it. Let's see. Collaboration confers advantage. Oh my god, being able to rip off tokens as man at arms. God bellow is so good for this. Suffering just being able to bellow four dodge tokens off and now all the dodge tokens are gone now it feels a lot less intimidating Blindness is kicking my ass. All right. Uh, could flashing daggers there, three to four, but it actually has five HP, so that won't give me a kill. That's four to six with 74% chance to crit. That's three to six. There we go. Nice. And days, so we'll go last. Alright. Alright. Wipe out some dodge tokens. And guess what? Wipe out the rest of the dodge tokens. This is a now this is a very solid first turn. They've lost all their dodge tokens, and now we can really just go for a specific type here. Uh we'll do three to six, four to six. We'll do throne dagger plus a double tap. Okay. Unfortunately, not enough there. We can go for the bleed. So that's dead in two turns. We'll finish that one off. This one might eat that. Okay. What do we want to do here? Go open vein. Try and get a bleed on this guy. Even with your blight resistance, it's still better to go for this. Uh, I guess I could get rid of the corpse, but it doesn't really matter. I'd rather wait for till this thing dies to use magnesium rain. So we'll just keep stacking bleed. Alright. God. Stop blinding the man. He's only got one eye. I should take off that blight. Yeah. He can finish that off. A simple variable. 
And now all of our focus can be directed at the worm. We're going to go ahead and do a defender on Dismas. Let's just soak up the damage, hopefully. There we go. Glad we did that. Fight through the fatigue. Glad we did that. All right. Keep it up a vein. Large. A slow dissection. So, damn. An unavoidable end. You want to crit too? Nope. Just gonna straight up miss. Way to go, Grandpa. You're you're helping. I like how I've just delegated. Barrison's job is to just exist and feel awful at all times of the day. Let's heal you first since we got this opportunity. Another impediment cleared with impunity. In this world, wealth is worthless without purpose. Nice. I like all of that actually. He's there to yell at the enemies. Basically. We'll give you that. Stumbling and grasping <laughs> shadows of what they once were. All right. Poison dart in the back. He's dead in two turns, so I don't even need to. He's going to stealth first turn, then die on second turn. So he's actually already dead just from that one attack. Then we'll point blank shot him. That's lethal there. there that, was, that was three kills in the first turn. All that's really left is this guy right now. So we only get hit once. A steady subtraction, an invariable result. All right. Now he's dead. Nothing else to do. Just <laughs> farm up crits, I guess. Posture check, chat. Posture check. How's your posture doing? No? Don't. Don't be the shrimp. Don't be a shrimp, chat. And then stand up. Wonder why your back hurts. There we go. I wanted to make sure he got dealt with before Skeeter happened. Once these guys start stealthing, I I would much rather have this guy for a couple extra rounds than deal with any of these guys. They are so awful. Uh, he's, he has zero speed. There's no reason to slow him down any further than he already is. Let's just strip armor. Okay.
Uh. Yeah, we'll just try. We'll just try and get a bleed in. Collaboration confers advantage. Perfect. Uh, hold up. Mm. There we go. Calculated generosity, but a welcome one nonetheless. Sorry, man. I had to get. If we see the opportunity to stall a little bit and just get some healing, no reason not to. Oroki, all links for subbing, Mads, and Ahana. Thank you all for subscribing. All right. Your collection can wait. Press onward. One second. Was I muted the entire time I was explaining that? Please tell me I wasn't. Stop. <sighs> explaining what? It's fine. All good. Chaos must All good, chat. With I hope y'all got it. I hope y'all understood what I said. Hope y'all understood, chat. That's all I'm going to say. I hope y'all understood. All right. We're at point blank shot. We are going to magnesium ring to eat up the dodge tokens. Cooperation is the key. We're going to start working on this guy. that All right. 
All right, so that's a stun on the man at arms, but it's not that bad. Okay. Uh, let's do that. Because that's that'll use up the combo token. Uh, you're dead in two turns, so let's go ahead and start stacking dots on you. But get some blinds, hopefully. There we go. That was the only attack he's actually going to get off, so that's perfect. And that one misses as well. And that puts him at 5 HP. Okay, he eats a stun here. Cooperation is the key. Alright, so he's not dead. Four to six, three to six. Probably better to do the three to six. Oh, well, it's got a higher chance. It's got 70% chance to crit. We'll take that one. That'll work. Now he's dead on his turn. He's under half, so we use double tap. He deaths doors now. A deliberate and methodical appliance of harm. I'll give you a heal. I'm not in position to incision, sadly. Uh I'm trying to think here what I want to do. We we'll just hit him. Yeah. Sadly, he resisted. Um, turn order wise. Now we'll stress heal. Now we'll stress heal. Okay. Go ahead and bolster. The unrelenting application of violence yields morbid gains. Cool. Take it all. Let's go. Hello, chat. We're just gonna have a little Rue happy right there for right now. Perfect. We're just gonna have a nice little Rue happy. So this is gonna be plus defense. And vulnerability. Yeah. Respectful. Tried and tested. A bomb to be counted on. Now that's what I like to see. Meow, meow. 
All right, point blank shot. Oh, he did not roll. He, somehow he didn't get a dodge token. I like how they can have, they can have zero, one, or two dodge tokens. And this guy, this poor unfortunate soul did not roll his dodge token. Actually, this guy has two. He stole it. He took his dodge token. Yep. Ow. Fine, we had a block. We're good. Okay. That moves him to third position, so that gets things to add up fourth. Which is good. Because ideally we want to be able to that way everybody has something to do. Well done. So he's dead. He's dead. The smallest variable can make all the difference. And now, incision. Hit him for five and he's dead. I hate you. <laughs> Why? One, just, I mean. I, got him. You know? Fucking got him. I'm taking your dodge token. I'm taking it away from you. You don't get any more tokens until you roll the correct numbers. Eh, I don't really like that. Eh, I don't really like that at all. The reason I don't like so the reason I don't like these on miss items is that you know dodge exists. <laughs> so there's very high chance that I'm rolling and give just giving them something for free. Even if I like even if what I'm trying to do is just rip tokens at the time. So I just don't see any of those being very valuable. And as nice as it might, as nice as it might be to get something a little bit extra for hitting, setting yourself even further back for a miss is already detrimental enough. You don't need to make it any worse. I thought it would give you speed. No, it gives the enemy speed on miss. He has two dodge tokens. They're all. Oh, hmm. I'm just gonna do that. The slow suffering begins. A slow dissection. Unavoidable end. Empowered, emboldened. Let's lower their speed. Holy fuck. Holy shit, dude. 
fucking took off Dismas's face. I took his too. He is stressed to fuck. impeccably timed don't crit all right collaboration confers advantage scavenge what you can and be off once more i want to be honest i didn't see the stun token I thought we were about to do a stress seal with the man at arms and everything was going to be great. I was wrong. I was very wrong. Wait. If, wait, random ally on turn start adds one positive token. But if the flame is higher than 75, minus move resist. I'm okay with that. Random tokens. Let's go. Have some random tokens. Oh, wait, no, that's debuff resist, not move resist. You're right. Nah, I'll do it anyway. What could possibly go wrong with lowering? I mean, your debuff resist is already fucking 20. Let's. What's another 10? soul so twisted by despair hey you want to leave yes we just leave the fight we don't fight i don't see i don't understand how we can get literally go to fights like i just want to imagine like i understand the whole friendship system of things but i want to point out of like going to a fight specifically to do the fight probably to try and lower the loathing counter and then your entire team just says nope don't want to go i feel like there should always be the option where somebody wants to fight, even if it pisses everybody else off. A promising development. Because that scenario can happen at zero loathing and it can happen at high loathing too. It's just random. Uh, he's dead. Well, will somebody think of the poor man at arms? Okay. I mean, got a good chance to kill him. Nah, just let it happen. Let it happen. I need to de-stress. I cannot delay that by a turn. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't either, because he would have just immediately... Or even... No, she could. She could do it, too. We need to take her out next. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. The work continues. All right. I uh, guess I'll heal you. And I'll defend you. Oh, I should have gone for a crit farm there. The past is gone. Let it die. Man at arms. When hit, gain armor. Wait, apply on to attack. Bello just Bello has a ten percent chance to stun the enemy. 
Excuse me? All right, I'm... Welcome. Welcome to spamming Bellow and nothing but Bellow over and over again. It's his missing eye. It is his missing eye. Hence the name, The Price of Fry. Uh, sure, take it off. I am too fat. Uh, I, I want all these poultices. I want all of that. We'll give you the stack of medicinal herbs. We'll give you the shuffle grenade. We'll give you... I don't need the death cap spores. Give you the bandages. You know, and then we can just go with that. I might miss out on some extra stuff, but we're two leagues away. All right, we are here. Not above 75 light. Well, then I don't even have the negative. The fire is lit. The table is set. The inn Audrey got slippery. Guests. That's nice. Barristan got cowardice. Gain win hit stress. Turn start if rank one back three. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, we're gonna need to get rid of that. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna need to get rid of that one because you you throw my whole build into into flux. Yep, that's terrible. Every road a winding torment. Keep Every the flame turn, above 40, get three mastery. Also, ch candle chance at every all those. Peace and hope. Curious. Yeah, we'll do this one. The barnacled timbers of the coastal villages are sodden with salt and secrets. Okay, we'll give you bleed resist, bleed resist, bleed resist. Blight resist. Fire resist, fire resist. Why? Because we're gonna kill a Kraken. Assuming, well, this is assuming that the hospital is before the... The means of mastery. Duelist advance is probably gonna be the best thing for... Yeah, we should buff both of these. Planning and mindfulness. As vital to survival as sharpened steel. Chance to produce poultices. I love poultices. I love them. That is probably one of the best stagecoach upgrades. This traveling will serve well. Like that. Barristan, who do you need help with? Like that there. Uh, is there anything else I can buy as far as de-stress goes? The the end. Barristan, why don't you share some whiskey? Well... Maybe, maybe shouldn't have done that. Okay. All right. Do I care about any of the trinkets? Trinkets aren't really that good yet because we haven't really unlocked anything good. We just keep getting literally the same trinkets over and over again. That's why I don't really care about all these baubles. 
Enter shroud. Yes. Go. Can you target unlocking laudanum? Or do you have to do a dice roll of random unlocks? Um, I'm going to be honest. I'm pretty sure that the unlocks are... are well, it, it feels like they're the... Uh, it feels like the unlocks are in a set order. It just looks like they're coming at you randomly. We need to scout out a hospital. Or we just go where the question marks are, because that's basically the same thing. Yep. <laughs> I need to find a hospital, so we literally just follow the question marks. This one's a hoarder's cache, so that's nice. No money for early hospital. True, if I got an if, if the very first one was a hospital, that would have been bad. Fuck. They want to fuck. My heart still beats. Desire will never die. An impressive haul. Put it to good use. All right, take all that. Echoes of humanity, twisted by hopelessness. All right. <laughs> yep, there are Morris, all right. Let's get that on you. And then... Chance to stun! You never know what... You never know what'll happen. Okay, she's dead in two turns, so even if he guards, she's still dead. Yep, I don't even need to go through the... Through the guard tokens. What's next? Hit him with an incision. De-stress yourself just by existing. Noted. And then Dismas finish it off with double tap. Three damage. He did it. Pleasant in the extreme. This work is noble. Is it just me or is the music for the the shroud louder than literally everywhere else? Like I wasn't gonna turn down the music because I I like it. But damn, if it isn't louder than everything else. Let's do it. We're jamming either way. All right. Shroud of jamming. I'm jamming with you, chat. He's jamming too. Let us hope to finish this quickly. The slow suffering begins. Yep. Good bleed. A breakthrough. All right. He's dead next turn, so I don't need to do anything. Cool. Now he comes and finishes this off. The 
Leviathan's breath thickens the air. And now we're all... Man, the shroud is difficult. Shroud just has so many other just fuck yous. Go for the stress relief, I guess. Darn. She's dead on her turn. Okay. And now we can get a de-stress in. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Ooh, got a mastery point. Nice. Got a lot of loot too, Jesus. So much money. The loathing whispers. Does Cove just give Lost more money? Choice. At least it should be. Because twenty gold you for a single fight is pretty darn high. May flee. Tower for hospital. Uh, there, there was no reason to go to the tower for the hospital because all it was going to do is reveal these question marks. Which I'm going to do anyway because these aren't hospitals. You know what I mean? I need to go to a hospital. So I was already taking that path. Creatures worship the sea. Let us return them to it. All right. And before no hospital. Yep, that's what I'm ready for. I am ready for no hospital at all. Also, goodbye. Woo! 37 damage. That, that is spicy. In crisis, <laughs> we can rely only upon each other. Well, let's try and slow everybody down, I guess. Bye. And goodbye. He's dead too. He's just taking longer to do it. Whether it be in his nightmare or in real life, there he is, the man at arms, sitting in the back line, doing nothing. Can't even buff properly. <laughs> just giving out compliments. No buff tokens, no heals, no stress healing, just compliments. Just chatting it up. Chatting it up in the back line. you can you can swap out an ability for hold the line nah relics yeah, yeah, yeah I need my skills currently as they are my whole build basically revolves around his skills being exactly where they are uh what do I want to ditch here we have so many materials that I'm just not using I don't need the smelling salts I will give you the bleed resist I 
don't need the pouch. I don't need the anti-venom. You know what? Let's give you some flame. I would not be opposed to using a little bit of flame. There we go. An elementary problem, is it not? Everybody wants to go to the question mark. Everybody, it's important. If you hope to heal, you have chosen wisely. Oh, thank you. Thank you. A hospital. We're gonna cure your cowardice with a with with medication. That that got dark real fast. I don't like this guy. Yeah, that's our best move. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. It's okay, he's used to it. I mean, true. We did beat Deathless Darkest Dungeon by literally just giving him an infinite mountain of space cocaine, and that's how we killed the boss, so. It's understandable. We made him like this. Take responsibility, chat. You did this. What's up? Uh... Yes, apparently. I have not drank any water. There you go. Booney, Booney is here. Okay, so he dies on his turn. Uh, honestly, double tap the corpse. I want to get this guy into the third position as quickly as possible. Or second position, not third position. And rely only upon each other. Don't worry, we, we're about to cure it. It's fine. Weaken them that another may finish the work. <laughs> well done. Good hit. Why is he being no like that? In the extreme. No this idea. Is noble. He's being a real dick. Thank you. I will drink more water. She heals the injuries of others while ignoring her own. Yeah, this. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Also, I can tell you right now, healing for money is a scam. Like, straight up a scam. Because you heal from just rolling the cart around, so... I don't know why you would ever spend money. Because even if this fight brought you to death's door, you're going to be around, like, 30% before you get to the road battle in front of you. Okay, lazy, I don't care. Fear of fanatics is kind of whatever. Fear of gentry cowardice. There we go. You are no longer a coward. You are no longer a coward. Hooray, hooray. I do want healing herbs. I love the healing herbs. They're a really good item. Um, I do like the... I, I like saving up poultice. Like, I think that's worth it, but only if you have the poultice press. So we're not going to just clog our inventory full of poultice. If 
Well, everybody wants to hear a story. Let's go. Let's continue hearing the story of the man at arms. A place to reflect, remember, and reconcile. So first we started off, he got promoted. He went to the front line. He got shit on. Now for the next part of the story. Who will face the half-remembered horrors of their past? Chapter 3. One eye open. Every night, the men of his regiment would interrupt his fitful convalescence. Mutilated and maimed, the spectral garrison clawed at his bed covers, whispering hateful truths in his ears. The exhausted attendants in the field hospital would wake to the sound of panicked screaming and inglorious sobs. It was not the war that had taken his eye. It was pride. Yay, trauma. Retribution. Awesome perk. I honestly find retribution to be better than crush. Because if I'm if I'm in the position where I want to use the man at arms actual melee attack, I'd much better off just doing retribution. Flame could go a little higher. It's getting a little low. This is chat reminding me I need to keep the flame above 40. A slow direction. An unavoidable end. Well do, bunny. Thank you. Well, this is going to miss. So I'm not even going to entertain the idea. Wow. The resists. Early results are encouraging. Ouch. Uh, he's already dead, so we'll go for her next. She's dead in two turns. Could put on a magnesium rain and make that one turn, actually. And it would eat up the dodge token on the dog. Unfortunate resist. Still dead in two turns, though. We should probably use more flame. <laughs> nice. Yep, you shoot those corpses. Good crit. And we'll use the flame one more time. There we go. The one pleasant in the extreme. This work is noble. A stone bleeds. Gravestones are temporary. 
Uh, they are supposed to be the corpse of your enemy that you just felled. We'll go ahead and take that, move that over. I am never getting a chance to actually use the shuffle. The shuffle grenade is getting no value right now. That all raised goodwill with both of them, so that's good. It is ours now. I'll take that. I'll take the cards. Actually, no, I'll just hit take all and figure out what. You can carry no more. Ah, uh, I have too much shit. Help! It's all these medical herbs. I don't need this many. I don't need this many. I don't even need this many of those. All right, let's go. Do we even go here? It would be a really stupid idea to fight the Leviathan. Like, we I'm acknowledging the Leviathan is way too overtuned. We should not go fight the Leviathan. That would be a stupid idea. Stupid. But I could do it too. But I could do it. I could do it. I trust you have calculated your odds carefully. Not even a little bit, my man. It will not be easy. <laughs> Even the game's talking shit on me. <laughs> the Church of the Change. An inglorious heap of rotting timbers. All right. No better time to use the shuffle grenade than that. All right, so we got a free stun there. Unfortunately, that's still going to be in that position. I didn't want to put Magnesium Rain on cooldown. Because otherwise I wouldn't be able to get rid of that corpse. Andrea will work on the back line because she's the only one that can work on the back line right now. Might be better to bleed right here. Darn. Still dead in two turns, though. Could make that one turn, though. Actually, let's rip this guy's armor. Lower their speed. Maybe go for the stun. Oh, that works. Andrew will keep hitting the back line. Perfect. Mm -hmm. 
crisis. We can rely only upon each other. All right, he's dead on his turn. Perfect. Blood Raven Phantom. Thank you for both seven. Appreciate that. Advance. All right, listen, get all it. What is this? Ew. Okay, this is not really deadly. This is just annoying. God, we're gonna get so many stuns to the face. Pain Train 2.0. This isn't even Pain Train. This is just Dodge and Stun Train. <laughs> like collaboration confers advantage. Collaboration confers advantage. The stun. Go ahead and get that heal. In a fight like this, I want to keep health as high as possible so that way we have a lot going into. Okay, he's now actually dead. He's dead. That's our best move. He's gonna get one more attack off. All right. Do we fight the Leviathan chat? How are we feeling? How are we feeling? Wow. Interesting. Kind of a combo, but not really. This isn't even good. Like, I'm going to be honest. This, this isn't even worth it. The loot is so bad. I can't use any of it. We'd literally just be doing it just to try and flex, and I'm not that stupid. Give me an extra... If I'm going to throw my run, at least let me throw it for something valuable. But the Gamba! We can refund it. It can be refunded. It will be refunded, chat. We'll ruin the mood, okay? Why? Because you can't gamble? <laughs> Y'all are gamba addicts. Y'all are fucking addicted. Don't even deny it. Just admit it already. Admit that you're an addict, chat. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, all right. I'll take that. Beat up the rest of the dodge tokens there. Oh good, I gave her a crit. 
Good, now she has two crits. Okay. Weaken them. That another All right. I was really hoping we could just use Caltrops to get the kill there. Okay, that's dead. Stop enabling me then. You know the channel points are worthless, right? They're actually more than worthless. Collaboration confers advantage. There. That way, if she AoEs the front, she walks into a double blunder. Bigger number, better person. True. The larger the number attached to your name, the better. I'm gonna keep, you know, I'm gonna keep going for the stun. <laughs> it worked right before she... <laughs> Anxiety for men's insidious fears. Oh, uh, that was funny. Still lingers in some of these well-worn relics. <laughs> this is such a stupid item. It's such a stupid item. It's a leper item? It, dude, it's not even a leper item. Being blind is bad. Like... <laughs> You say it's a leper item, but let's be honest here. Just being blind is bad. And you might say, well, leper can use combo and ignore blind, but not a lot of things actually put blind on the front line. And even then, it's not... Like... <laughs> Lep edge. That's unfortunate. But like... There's better trinkets out there to, to deal with the blindness. I don't think you should double down on the blindness. I don't think it's worth it. Anyway, clip this for when I inevitably use it on the leper, you know, three runs from now and I go, this is the best shit ever. The loathing abates. But for now, Garbage. For now, it is garbage. All right, to home.
There are yet places such as this. Where a the worries. Still gathers. Lurker. Neat. In the light completed, plus three mastery. That is nice. I'll go ahead and give you the tools. All right, who? Who needs help with their relationship? Audrey and Dismas are one away, so let's do that. Fuck. While the heart still beats, desire will never die. It's Dismas. Dismas is the one collecting everybody today. He's the one. He's cheating on he's cheating on Barristan with Audrey. And now he sets his sights on Pards. I don't know how to I'm gonna be honest, you're Plague Doctor because I don't know how to say your name. All I know is that you have sus in your name, and that's about it. No, we don't use Disarming Dagger. In this house, we don't use it. No, bad, bad, good, bad, good. Well, that was not that great. Precious Seven tokens. All right, let's go end. ahead and upgrade Double Tap. Let's upgrade Open Vein. Uh, let's upgrade Retribution. And let's upgrade Bellow. Let's upgrade Incision and upgrade Indiscriminate Science. And you, you, you spam one ability, Poison Dart. That is the only ability you use is Poison Dart. <laughs> yeah, we got to find something better for you. The only time we use flashing daggers is to eat dodge tokens, and I don't need to upgrade to do that. You know? Poor Audrey. <laughs> I guess we'll just I guess we'll just feed the highwayman. There you go, highwayman. <laughs> it's kind of sad when you look at him side by side. <laughs> Please, sir. Spare a crumb. Alright, where are we going? The provinces and camp tribes of our land. Crumbling the way is lit. And undone. Blood and hope. Naked and afraid. I don't like the naked and afraid as an actual skill. Ugh. Hmm. I'm not going to do the goal because I'm not going to do that, but I am going to click on this one. We're going to go here and that's the boss we're going to kill. Beauty and knowledge. Ash on the wind. Because even though they've buffed li the librarian. He's still the easiest boss. He is still the easiest boss. Experience. By a long However shot. Painful, is the greatest teacher of all. Do I even want any of these trinkets? I don't. They're all so bad. They are all so bad. But you know what? I'll take Sound that. Investment in roads yet untraveled. It begins. Create the love triangle. Your coach must be maintained if it is to carry you. We're gonna be getting a lot of candles of hope, so I'm gonna just go ahead and put on the candles of hope stack to three. I want a pet. Where are my pets? Stun resist. Give that to Dismas.
All right, embark. Yes. <laughs> All right, listen. When I you did not need you did not need to come in here and type that, Landon. That is just weird. Behold, just don't. The great cities of man ruined. All right. Flame. So two things need to happen. Number one, I want to go to a lair. So we'll go to the right here. And then the other thing is I want to hit as many candles as possible. I just want to hit so many candles. Perfect. Whole bunch of candles. Let's collect all those candles of hope. See what we got here. All right. That'll put vulnerability on everything. Vulnerability on start is actually pretty valuable. Frontline usually doesn't have defense against just being blasted in the face. Okay. Woo! All right. Well, she's going to be dead soon. He's going to be dead now. Early results are encouraging. Magnesium rain's a bad idea on this because we want him to stay as far back as possible. Okay. Incredible. Very well then. We can rely only upon each other. And we'll lower their speed for the next round. A minus five speed. All right. A slow dissection, an unavoidable end. <laughs> Slow suffering begins. All right, that goes to the armor. Guess we'll just do that. Just, just whispers, no buffs, just, just talking to each other. What do you like to see? We can eat negative tokens, but I can still only use indiscriminate science if they are under uh, a certain threshold. Audrey, what trinkets do you have on? That's basically free because your speed is uh, a lot higher than two. So we don't have to worry about that. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one we take. It's really just do I want to do a road battle or not? Not really. I'm okay. We don't need to do road battles. All I really want are mastery points. Not things that might eat into my supplies. Alright. See what we got here. Spend some treasure. Find. RP. 
repair kit. Take the poultice. Don't really want the whiskey bottle. I'm just going to say no to these things. We're not going to use them. And we're going to the lair. I have so many extra things. We've been finishing our fights too fast to use up our medicinal herbs. All right, to the great library. The library. If dude burned. explodes, spams, I'm spam Bakum. I tell you right now, reason. that I'm fire sick. guy has gotten to the front exactly one time, and that is the last time he ever gets to the front. A slow dissection, an unavoidable end. I remember that. It, you want something to Gamba on? Gamba as to whether or not he's going to make it to the front. There you go. There you go, Gamba addicts. But he never does. But he could. But he could. He could make it to the front. You want something to Gamba on? No gombas to whether or not I'm going to kill him. That's a given. He's going to die. I've never actually wiped to Librarian of all bosses. I will literally gift 50 subs if I die to Librarian. And you know what? I'll keep the, you can clip that and I'll keep that in perpetuity until it happens. <laughs> a simple variable easily resolved one day i'm gonna die to librarian and i will gift out 50 subs but until that day confident dude librarian is such an easy boss they buffed him but not enough but also don't take that as a challenge don't buff him any further. I like my free boss kill on the way to the... Nice. Wow, we are just fucking tearing through this guy. And he goes last. What are we doing? A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Darn. Cooperation is the key. All right. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Messy, but effective. In crisis, we can rely only upon each other. There we go. A lesson taught is a lesson learned. One hundred percent location scouting. Neat. If you're first, get strength. Extra action on kill. Not only does Librarian have like the easiest boss, but it's also got the best trinket. 
I literally just put that on the highwayman. If his point blank shot kills something, he gets to go again, maybe. He teeters madly upon his ladder, reveling in the fiery destruction of human accomplishment. He's burning the books. Oh no. My manga. <laughs> yep. Here, let me help you burn the books. I made the book swap places and I hate it. Let's go ahead and use our medicinal herbs because God, do we have a lot of them. Pass. My best option is pass right now. As shitty as that is. Keep the stress low. No, he killed the books. Anything but the books. No, the fucking blindness. Ay, yeah, yeah, I hate it. Now let's try and burn through those dodge tokens. Haste and carelessness. All marks of the unprepared. We're just gonna do another take aim and we're just gonna hope that, you know, he doesn't. Easiest boss, huh? Easiest boss. God, I hate this boss. It is non-stop dodge tokens all the time. HP? Uh-huh. That's a lot. Hey, I can finally shoot you.
He's getting to the front. Will he get to the front? Will he get to the front chat? I don't know. Is he going to make it? No, not today. Not today, chat. The Wainwright awaits, eager to ply his trade. That was so close. That was pretty close. That was pretty close, dude. Alright, let's sort this inventory. This fucking mess. <laughs> Alright, I don't need anti-venoms. I will put on the medicated... Or actually, let's put on the burn salve, because that's more likely to actually get used in the zone. Same with the medicinal herbs. Put the medicinal herbs over the bandages. Actually save the bandages. Okay, put on an extra flame. Uh, Dismas, we're gonna give you the smoldering him. So that way every, if you go first, you get damage. If you kill, you might get to go again. And I'm tempted to give you the 5% crit on top of it. What's point blank shots chance to crit? 15, this would make it 20. 20% 20 chance to crit. I like it. I'll roll with it. Of course, I could also give it to Audrey. Eh, she's fine. We'll give you the bleed resist. I know we're in fire area and fire resist, but bleed is still good. And I need the inventory space. I will not be using the medicine chest. I will not be using the lantern. I will not be using the storage trunk. All right. Sorted and let's go. I love it when you play Dark Ascension 2. I love streaming. Like this. It's fun. Man, stress is a bit high, though. You can tell how tense they are. They're real tense right now. critical man collaboration confers advantage <laughs> oh my god everybody crit him <laughs> jesus Here christ the, the whole team wanted him dead brightly for all the world to see To the question marks here. Desperate few. How much flame do I have? While the heart still beats, desire will never die. So, the way to take about this is that. Barristan and Dismas fell in love. Then Dismas cheated on Barristan with Audrey, and now 
Barristan is cheating on business with the Plague Doctor. Or they're just all into it. They're just all into it. Seven bread. Jesus. Do I need this much bread? Supplies this way, if you can make it. Do I need this much bread, Jet? Also, I don't need drink. I don't need bubbles anymore. waste best to take all you can more bread <laughs> more bread take the poultice an elementary problem is it not thank god these candles of hope the stack ruined by riotous all right we have a lot of bread we should probably ditch some bread. We should ditch some bread, Chet. I'm telling you, know, let's ditch some bandages. I'll keep the bread. Gotta keep the bread. Chat would be mad at me if I didn't keep the bread. Two arms, though it brings no satisfaction. Don't need any more bread now, though. True. At this point, I am bread capped, which is probably how we should look at it. Any bread I see at this point, I can just get rid of because I have enough bread to last until the end of the campaign. Uh, okay. A promising development. Almost dead. Yep. And now he's just gonna spam a stress skill. Which is mildly irritating. Confers advantage. He missed his yell. All right. Old man screams at graves. Burning brightly for all the world to see. Dead ringer, hell no. I don't want anything else. Destinations never in question. Only the route you take to get there. I would like to do the academic study. But also, I could use more flame. Because my fights are going so fast, I keep forgetting about using the flame that I have on me. What do candles do? Uh, candles are the meta game progression. So the more candles I get, the more buffs I'll get after this. New unlocked. Three stress, gain flame. Minus 12. Hell yeah. Respectful. What the are the names of the two on. dogs that pull our carriage? I'll take respectful. We Who's always want choice? respectful. At least it should be. Honestly, these are the 
least valuable. Wow, okay. Is the narrator immortal? Yes. Wayne June has achieved immortality. Steady yourself. That is not what cream sounds like. I don't know what sound effect that was. Do a flashing daggers. There is comfort in company. Okay. We'll do that so she can't do funeral pyre, and then we'll start working on the third position. Fourth position's looking easy to snipe, too. Ah, the dodge token, though. Let's get rid of that dodge token. Close. Yep. We'll do retribution there. Be able to double tap that. There we go. Slowly, slowly, we keep the stress under control. All right. still lingers in some of these well-worn relics. Mm -hmm. I don't want any of this. for this fun place. I will say I do like that this is now always a, a cultist fight instead of some really weird wave-based fight where you have to do two regular easy fights then do this one. Alright. So how are we doing this? Dismas goes next, so I would like to try... Well, first, a little bit of flame. Let's get rid of that dodge token before Dismas point-blank shots. Very nice. Now, we'll do a Magnesium Rain, and hopefully we get a... Burn here. Nice. Nice. And then death. And he gets a guaranteed crit. Oh boy, here we go. Oh my stress. Holy shit. And the Rapace gave him another guaranteed crit. Fuck yeah. There 
go. Let's make it a large bleed. He needs to die. Okay. Resisted that bleed, unfortunate. Let's get a little more flame. Yeah. Yeah, this is bad. At least I can remove that one. But it's okay. It's probably going to immediately come back again. <laughs> yep. Thank God. <laughs> All problems have their solutions, even the big ones. Well, maybe not kaboom. We, there's still a chance. I did not need to give a guaranteed crit to that attack. I did not. Uh... All right, let's look at the bright side. We're going to survive. This isn't going to kill us. Only on only on the inside does this truly hurt us. Unless I hold on. If I crit. No. If I crit this, I'll hit for 9 damage and apply 4 Blight. Meaning that my top end damage is 13. I Okay, I have to crit and we have to do Magnesium Rain. But Magnesium Rain's on cooldown. Magnesium rains on cooldown. Ay! <laughs> yep. And now, the test of all. Well, that hurt. That definitely, I felt that. And that right there is why you don't let the altar live. At last, respite within reach. I gotta say though, the <laughs> the guaranteed crit occultist that spams AOE and the AOE applies vulnerable was just a fucking nightmare. The Roaring Heart does much. All right, Dismas. Barristan, you all bad. Audrey got minus range damage and ranged crit. Wow. You got chance to be dazed. You got chance to be dazed. You got vulnerability, less speed. And when moving. Wow, that is. All right, we're going to a hospital. I'm going to not spend a lot of money. We're going straight to a hospital. You people need it. Mm-hmm. Everywhere in ruin. Everywhere in need. Booty. 
Well, this is our chance to... This is our chance, Chet. The shrouded coast, isolated and drowning in amphibious degeneracy. It's time to get revenge. It's time to get revenge. Indeed, it ever did. Don't want any of that. We're good on bread. I wish I had more bandages, maybe. More bread? I am good on bread. I am good on bread. I do not need any more bread. One learns quickly. When survival demands it. Uh, let's level up your heal. Level up magnesium rain. Cool. Bark. Let's go. Why is Audrey at half health? Uh, because she witnessed a dying star Propriety floats list in front of her face. Brined in noxious degradation. All right, so there's a lair. There is only one hospital. And if I take the hospital, by the way, I I cannot do the resistance battle. But we're taking the hospital. Like, that's a given. We're taking the hospital. Um. Camera. No Leviathan? Oh, we're doing the Leviathan. That's happening. I can tell you modding is going to be a lot less prevalent in Darkest Dungeon 2 than it is in 1 because modding this is a lot harder. Haste and carelessness. All right. marks of the unprepared. Everything's anointed. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Altar of Resentment. I used Bellow to remove crit, which then procked there on getting hit, add crit. Uh, yeah.
Is DD2 any good compared to one? It looks a lot more simpler. I mean, I am not attacking in any way. I just want to know how do you think it looks simpler? It is a different gameplay style, but I'm can I'm I want to know what specifically makes you think that it's simpler. Tell me. The slow suffering begins. Not the battle, other things. You mean it's a different game then? See, you're confusing a different game with simpler. This isn't This isn't DD1. This is a completely different game that plays differently. Okay. In crisis, we can rely only upon each other. Nice. I just liked more champion diversity in one, for example. Well, the game's not done. Now, if you would like, what you should do is you should compare this game to uh, Early Access Darkest Dungeon 1. There's about the same amount of characters between Launch Darkest Dungeon and how many... Uh, Launch Darkest Dungeon 1 and this. They both launch with about the same amount of characters. We also don't talk about early access Darkest Dungeon 1. That was a that was that was a nightmare. That was a nightmare. I don't need those. The loathing festers. I can tell you right now. Darkest Dungeon 1 definitely grew as a game. It grew. Launching only had the ruins, no stall mechanics. The worst kind of parasite. To give you an idea, I'm pretty sure the only thing that remained uh, like completely untouched from early access Darkest Dungeon was the affliction system. That they got right on the first try and it stayed all the way until the final version. Oh yeah, there was no corpse system either. When you killed an enemy, they just moved forward. Oh, go again. But of course. Let's set up for another one. Tried to go for the stun there. There we go. Heal you up. Man, let me tell you, anointed cannons hurt. This anointed cannon shit? Hmm, not a fan. Ha! 
Miss. Excellent work. Can't bleed a cannon, sadly. Go for the stun. Even if you do resist it, it's still gonna hurt. Man, anointed cannons are... They're something else. I didn't take an extra flame. No reason not to take extra flame. Alright. Let's continue. A refreshing commune unburdens the mind. Stress heal and bottle it up. Nice. Abandoned or forgotten. It is all. We're gonna save that for the boss fight. Alright, which way are we going? Going left here so that way I can go to the hospital. You also picked up the worries, which is minus stress resist, but I don't really find that is that valuable. Oh boy. You know, I haven't seen you in a while, Fred. They've hidden you from me. Where have you been? die on his own. Does the gulp, does the double ghoul fight still exist by the way? I assume it does. I'm just asking. Yes? Oh boy. Nice. Cooperation is the key. Goodbye, Fred. Don't make this awkward. There you go. The one pleasant in the extreme. This work is noble and necessary. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Prayers of the fisher folk must 
be silenced. I don't wanna I don't wanna cause that much negative relationship. I want the fight, but not that badly. Yeah, we're in the third act now. And this will be the very first time that I've fought the lungs, so enriching themselves as the world collapses. Okay. Let's just go ahead and use some of our 8,000 medicinal herbs there. Weaken them. Oh, finally got the stun on something relevant. Oh, uh, fuck you too. That brings him to exact lethal. She's dead in two turns. Empowered, emboldened. Kip. The slow suffering begins. Bellow again, I guess. Uh, he's dead, so. Yep. We're in the last region. An inkling of potency still lingers in some of these well worn relics. Let's fight him. Yeah, the last Oblivion's Rampart where you fight the three size dude, that's uh that's quite something. And you get to do that every run. we go after this now the slow suffering begins <laughs> 20 
25% my ass. Twenty five percent, a hundred percent of the time. Oh, my God, stop resisting everything. Finally. Insidious spears. Yep. Yeah, we should go for her next. Work the dodge token too. There we go. That'll get rid of the blindness and heal him. next let's get rid of this corpse oh my god no die the work continues Minus 10 speed. Alright. Uh, is he dead? He is dead. Very good. Alright. Finish off him. He dies. Variable can make all the difference. Heal myself up. Empowered. Emboldened. Not bad. We are the flame. Burning brightly for all the world. Don't need any of that. The loathing abates. <laughs> Alright, we're going to the hospital. Time to get rid of all these injuries. I don't really care about the worries. Because I never resist stress to begin with, so. Alright. Got here. Blundering fool. No. Head injury. Honestly, I think I might be fine on you. 
You know. Pure fanatics is terrible. Lazy eye. Okay. Let's go. Gather yeah, a bunch of poultices. Basically, we're just stacking a bunch of buffs for the last zone. Uh, we want to go to the lair. Because I want to fight. Also, give me the candle. Okay, I need to use a whole bunch of flame for this. At least two flames need to be used this fight. There we go. Point blank shot start. Uh, retribution. He's fine on stress now. Attack the back line. Kill him. A trifling matter. Nice. Nice and easy. Okay. Yeah, you have to unlock stale bread with candles, which I would highly recommend you just dump candles into the inn until you find stale bread. Because it makes the game a lot easier. Having 20 max HP every zone. Okay, he's dead on turn. Welcome relief from caustic agony. Wonder if Flagellate will make a return? It'd be nice. Is gone. Let it die. I'll take the ceremonial drum. I didn't use two flame like I said I wanted to. That's fine. Okay, Dismas, we're gonna give you the healing water just in case. We're gonna give you that. Give you that. We have a lot of flame. Not a lot of everything else, though. We have no real combat items. I would like us to find oh, another combat item in here. Best to take all you can. Uh, I, I don't even think the Leviathan does blight. Uh, I'll take the plus speed. I'll take the gold. I'll take the medicinal herb. Does the does the Leviathan even do blight? I don't think he does. I literally can't remember. Don't think he does. I'll just leave it. I'm gonna go under the assumption of no and leave it there. Primeval water-worn monoliths were flung up from the ocean floor. By some unaccountable tectonic action. Ooh, Caltrops. Actually, no, I think I value the uh, medicinal error over the Caltrops, especially for the Leviathan fight. I want survivability. Okay, sacred pier time. Ah, yes, the shuffle brigade. Glorious heap of rotting timbers. A slow 
dissection. Okay, he's dead in two turns. Good crit. Early results are encouraging. <laughs> Star, thank you for subscribing. White trash, thanks for subbing. All right. Uh, I just lower their speed. Let's get rid of the stress, that's more important. Good crit. The Leviathan's breath thickens the air. First fight done. Let's advance. Do we know what happened to the Houndmaster? No. Alright, this fight is also pretty fucked up. But thankfully, I can delete somebody right off the bat. Which makes this a lot easier. Eat those dodge tokens and get rid of the corpse. An unavoidable end. All right. Darn, didn't get the. Go ahead and bellow them, make them lower their speed. That another may finish the work. Get you out of the third position. This dismiss has a down a damage down in third and fourth. Wonderful. But effective. She's dead on turn now. Cooperation is the key. Yeah. A deliberate and methodical appliance of harm. I need to get a heal on him. So let's do a take aim. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at all those positive tokens. Delicious. A simple variable. All right. Resolved. One hundred percent bleed dealt and received. Holy shit! Interesting item. Interesting item. Stop capturing screenshots. I don't know what button's doing that, but stop doing it.
Advance. It's time to get revenge. They must be made to see that their monstrous god is mortal. Point blank shot. Good combo. Resist. Nice. All right, so we'll have Plague Doctor put a bleed on this so that way it'll eventually die. And I'll have to resummon it. But I don't want to put actual DPS on the hand. So from this point on... Well, it'll almost bleed out. Let's keep stacking the dot on you, though. I have no reason to push it. Let's get your stress down. There we go. Nope. As long as you have move resist, you can do this fight. But if you don't have guaranteed move resist, you're in for a bad fucking time. All right. Death blow. Now he has to resummon his hand. Mentally broken, no! Ah! That's fine. Steady yourself a bit. You know, something that I just can't unsee now. If his hand is like this and his head's like that, he just looks... He's just standing. Like he's just standing on the bottom. He's just standing. I want you to imagine that. Imagine all the water's gone. He's just standing up. He's big. And now it's time to double tap. <laughs> 63 Holy sh
Wait, it said 63 there for a second. I could have swore it said 63. It did? Okay, I'm not crazy. Cure my own bleed. Don't worry. I got you, doctor. Well, bye. Revenge. The Wainwright awaits, eager to ply his trade. You have way too much shit. All right. I want to keep all these poultices. Put the flame in there. Put that in there. Stack that up. I don't want that. Gain on bleed resist heal. It's definitely a lot better than this fucking mortal ward we've been holding on to for all this time. Rank 1 50% bleed resist. That's awesome. Rank. Oh, he's going to be in rank 2 though, so it's going to be really just 50%. Hmm. Might be better on you, honestly. Because I kind of don't want to reduce my healing taken. I kind of want that move resist. But I guess he's mostly going to be in the front, so actually he should be on Barristan. It should be on Barristan. Oh well. Uh, I don't need that. I don't need the speed bag. All right, well, let's go. An elementary problem, is it not? Everybody wants to fight a cultist. But also, Hero Shrine if we go to the right. I value the Hero Shrines. I need to get those done. We're going to stress everybody out. Perhaps you are finding your Didn't take the 100% bleed trinket. So this is not a trinket. This is a trophy. So on the back of our carriage, you have to mount the trophy in order to actually go to the mountain. Dumb. Oh, it's an antiquarian. No. For the keys to her own salvation. Raider. Gonna go ahead and do a take aim there. Good dodge. Let's use that to eat through some of the dodge tokens here. Nice. A slow dissection. She's dead in two turns. I might just ignore her now. Work on something else. That'll eat through the dodge token, but that's it. I don't think I value it that highly. Let's go for him. Let's crack that armor. 
Now this bellow. Okay. I was going to say, that bellow will get rid of the dodge token and potentially lower their speed. All right, you've got a guaranteed crit. Goodbye. <laughs> Good crit. Okay, so he's set up to do that. Start blighting the dog. Oh no. Plague Doctor, you are in dangerous territory. You are in very dangerous territory. Oh! Alright, well, he's healed. Wasting a turn on protect me for somebody that's about to die. The slow suffering begins. All right. Let's go ahead and heal you back up. Good as new. Now we start eating through those tokens. And damage. Nice. Free heal on her. You resist blight pretty hard. The Among Us triangle continues. There we go. I will say though, she is the only enemy in the game that that disappears when you defeat her. She is the only enemy that disappears. She does not say death blow. She just disappears. So if I had to guess, she's not dead. I actually don't even care about these armor kits. I'd much rather hold space for poultices and stuff. That's an extra bread that we don't need. We don't need the pipe weed. Okay. Pity her soul so twisted by despair. Good. We want to get rid of that unfriendly relationship there. Whew. Oh, this is going to hurt. 26 to 34 damage. Start working on the captain for Audrey. She's the only one that can reach him. Mm -hmm. 
So we'll do retribution here to taunt this speed. Hopefully. Almost dead. On to the next. Nice, that ate up his dodge token. Go back here. Position yourself there. So now the plague doctor can heal herself. That'll stop him from getting another attack in. We can't stop him from getting this attack. Hopefully that'll make him go last next. Nope, no days. Yeah. Kill ourselves up there. He dies. Educational stream. Every stream of mine is educational. Usually on what not to do. But at least I'm self aware. Echoes of humanity twisted by hopeless. I think there's a memory leak. Because every single road fight is getting laggier and laggier. Okay. We can't kill him, so we're just going to try and throw a blind on him. That'll remove his crit. I make this game look easy. I still make a ton of misplays, though. Crit heal and got rid of the bleed. Good. Do retribution here. Won't matter. He's hit he's hitting death's door on his turn anyway, so there's no reason to attack him any further. Only way that was a kill is if Audrey crit. And he's just gonna waste it on protect the child anyway. Slow 
section. An unavoidable end. Oh my god, he won't go down. Die. Persistence will overcome even the greatest of threats. If you have three dots, is it three death rolls or one? It's one death roll. All damage over time is combined into a single hit as far as rolling for death blow. However, regen goes before uh, regen goes before dots. So if you have even a single point of regen, you can live through 800 dot damage. You'll never die to it. Uh, that's trinket champs. Scavenge what you can. I like that trinket. That's a nice trinket. More. It's also called a grenade. We're collecting poultices. All right, my inventory is just full at this point. Like. Okay, hold on. One second. Who are we on? Man at arms. I knew what waited for me, but I had no right. <laughs> the breath breath stonks the down. Floor. Ghosts of the past. Demoted and disgraced. He returned to the battlefield, ready to endure the wrath of his regiment and grant them some small peace. Rest in peace. Pour one out. Self minus one stress. Target knocked back two. Stun removed. Okay. Rest in peace. Rest in peace again. This is kind of sad. It is. It's very sad. Boop the button. Thank you. Let's 
see here. Let's do that. Watch out, the gravestone's gonna crit me. Critical dirt. Or one out. At last, he would sleep undisturbed. Courageous Perhaps abandon. Comfort in that murky abyss of dreamless wonder. See, this ability potentially looks good, but it's really not because it's a hundred percent damage of the base damage, which is really bad. The base damage is three. Three to six. It's not that good. Plus, Barrison's really not built to be a DPS. Alright, where are we going? Probably the Hoarder here. Just give me another chance at getting something good. More poultices? I would like more poultices. Possibly some combat items, too. Alright, Hoarder, what you got for me? I'm good on bread. I will take the bear traps. That'll be useful for this boss fight that's about to happen. Uh, I would like... I can't really buy anything, actually. Yeah. I mean, I can buy one thing and then scrap a relic, I guess. I'd rather not. Nah. All right. We'll give you that. Get rid of those. Let's go. Alright. Actually, wait, hold up. Now nah, we'll keep it as that. Alright, Barristan, you're gonna use a lot of flame. Push this half made horror back into the void. 
Which is better, point blank shot or open vein? I think open vein's only better if I have a uh, combo token to work with. Well Ooh, done. 34 damage, all right. 34 damage. Jesus. Okay. Let's not give the big guy a crit token. Use the open vein, because we have combo. Nice. Stupendous. Nice. He is probably going to kill this on his next turn. Slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Okay. And now okay. the greatest test of all. I could use water to get her off death's door. But she's still gonna need a heal. But it at least gets her off death's door. Well, maybe not. Instant death? Not instant death. Drugs. So many drugs. We keep that alive. I'm not even going to bother attacking that. So let's medicinal herb off the blight. From caustic agony. Boom. Indiscriminate science. The rest of the HP up. More flame. Nice. Timed. Stop him from going crazy. Ate the combo, no bleed. Toss a blinding gas. No luck. door
big guy down. Perhaps. Okay, that corpse has a little bit of HP. That is a meaty corpse. This must is Wanderer. Nice rogue path. Welcome relief from caustic agony. God, how much stress? How much stress have I relieved so far with Barristan? Exhaustion. We're good. No, we're not doing any of that. Pretty clean fight. That was fun. It is time to inhale a whole lot of shit. So many drugs. Get your copium ready. The fire is lit. The table is set. The inn awaits its favorite guests. All right, so everybody gets plague resist. Everybody gets bleed resist. Oh, wait. He doesn't want any more bleed resist. Give it to him. Stun resist. Move resist. Healing. That. Max HP. Max HP. Max HP. Plus speed. Extra healing. Cool. The next stop is leagues away. Plan accordingly. Cool. Precious relics remind us of a time before the end. Uh. Something to ease the rigors of the road. Let's do... You've got stun resist. Let's give you stun resist. Let's give you stun resist. Let's give you fire resist. Listen. Nine mastery tokens. Okay. Got a few. Got a few. She's blinding gas even what I want? Or do I want to... Sorry. Oh. Guess I'll take blinding gas.
Well, I guess I'll save the next two for Darkest Dungeon 3. Cool. Whole bunch of medicinal herbs, I guess. So many medicinal herbs. All right. Select route. The, inevitable end the mountain. Of your journey awaits you once again. Wow, fifty-two candles so far. Let's get even more. At last, the great ziggurat. Temples of failure and regret. <laughs> it is time to die, chat. Range skills. Okay, good resist there. Let's eat up the dodge tokens. Fine by me. One burn isn't enough for me to care. Go after the cherub. Wow, that added blindness, huh? Well, guaranteed crit, but I'm blind, so. Yep. That's what I figured. We gotta go for the incision there. This fight's gonna take forever. One damage off lethal for that. Operation confers advantage. Perfect. So we move her to that position so she can't do. That way she can't use the ability that gives her a guaranteed crit. That's the important part there. Uh, he's about to get worshipped twice over. Yeah. Uh, I only need to do one damage, so... Go for it. Extinguished at last. Okay. Anxiety for men's insane. All right, so next turn we can bolster that off.
Good double tap. A breakthrough. Whatever. Okay, keep stress low. You will give me an act. Ooh, guaranteed crit. Hell yeah. Ouch. A lot of stress coming in. Thank you for the tier 3 sub, Orgasmic Cheesecake. Appreciate that. Now I want cheesecake. The loathing whispers. Now I want cheesecake, chat. all dodge that sounds like fun all right let's get a gun but will i beat the boss on the first try keep a note i have never seen the boss i don't know what to expect until we get into it but that certainly sounds like a good gamba oh god Gain crit when attacked. Yeah, we're going to want to focus that altar down. And attack literally nothing until the altar is dead. Alright, now we can kill the other shit. I want to focus on the big guy. She's not nearly as scary. Steady yourself. Yep. You said still not nearly as scary. I still stand by my statement. This guy is way worse. Because he can do that, but hits the whole team. Let's get rid of that vulnerability off you. Let's do a take aim to get rid of blindness. He's about to get worshipped. Yeah. I can kill him before the next worship goes through. Cool. 
Ow. Oh my god, <laughs> the resists. I was like, I can beat him before the next worship. Resist every single attack. And then she gets to go early. Oh, fuck you. Cooperation is the key. I have to go for her. Just accept that I have made a major fuck up and go for her. A calculated generosity, but a welcome one nonetheless. Oh my God. <laughs> This is ridiculous. You know, some free stress heals would be dope right about now. She's one off trying to go death door. Nice. I can't take the risk that she five percent it. In crisis, we can rely only upon each other. All right, we brought it back. Of violence yields oh more God. gains. All right, well, this is gonna be rough. This is gonna be rough as fuck. Let's do it. The nightmare gate is revealed beyond. Only infernal nihility and non existence. Oh, my God! Look at that thing. The seething sigh, stertorous avatar of ill concealed rage. Shallow breath. Yeah, we're going to need all that stress heal we can get. Breath. Increases damage and stress dealt by sundering exhalation. Removed if significant damage is taken. Cannot be moved. Cannot move or be moved. Observe the subject carefully, and you will discover its weaknesses. Okay.
Let's do a take aim. What does it consider significant damage, I wonder? It's got 200 blight resistance. Well, we're not putting dots on the boss, I can tell you that. All right. It says sufficient, not significant. Oh. Well, you know, as you do. Just keep that stress low. Go ahead, medicinal herb that off early. Oh my god. Sundering exhalation. So you need to do damage to whatever. Oh god. Okay. Well done. Well, I hope that's sufficient. Area. All right. Slower speed. That another may finish the work. All right. Oh, I, is, wait, I see the little line marker. I can't tell how much that actually is, but I see it. Stress low. That one's not so easily hit, you know? That one's not so easily hit. I don't even know how much I wish I could better tell how much HP I actually need to do like there's a little line there indicating it's not something I shouldn't know it should tell me good bleed problem is can I actually do the damage I don't think so probably better just to drink drugs here and hope for the best. Maybe blind him?
greatest test of all. Jakes. Dog. All right. Okay. One hit with anything should be enough for that. I want to do a take aim here. Good dodge. tanking there. Let's go ahead and cure that. That was just enough to break it. That one's just gonna hit us. We're just... Just be prepared to get hit by that one. Well done. Six bleed... For five turns each. Yeah, that sounds good. Four bleed for five turns. Four blight for five turns. The slow suffering begins. Let's go ahead and medicinal herb that off. Get myself off death's door right before I get put back on it. Not enough, thankfully. Empowered, emboldened. Okay, what's my best move here? Retribution. That way, at least I get some repost damage from this guaranteed AOE attack that's about to hit me. And now, the greatest test of all. All right, not the worst. An interminable conflict. Deep breath. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Deep breath, huh? Deep breath. I'm an, I'm gonna need to destroy one of those lungs. There we go. If you break a lung, do you get like anything? I have no idea. Uh, let's take weakness off you. I guess my reward would be no deep breaths if I took out one of the lungs. Unfortunate it's on the wrong side. Go for it anyway. Hell yeah. Alright, we don't want to do a point blank shot for obvious reasons, but I will go for an open vein here. Unfortunately, it got resisted. Nobody's on death's door, so honestly, it's best to just attack. 
Because no amount of healing is going to save me. Let's just taunt with man at arms. Taunt with man at arms and pray. Resentment. The slowest and deadliest poison of them all. 51 damage. Deep breath. No. No. Deep breath again. Oh boy. Okay, it's about time we kill the boss because he's going to start spamming deep breath probably. So it's time to move on to double tap. Six HP. A setback. Nothing more. Just a setback. Two HP. Come on, Grandpa. He does one fucking damage, guys. Dang it. Retribution. Set up repost for this. Whatever this shit is. by Dismas. Resentment. The slowest and deadliest poison. He's got one all. HP. Ah. Um. Why does he get to go three times in a row? Well, old man got the kill. Who cares? That was a fun boss. Your fault was not in burying your fury. <laughs> and then he has a meltdown. What did I do? First try. Success so long pursued is rewarded only with creeping revelation. 72 candles. My, my, that's quite a few candles. The blaze began in the east wing of the great line. Well, like I said, if I can first try the boss, unnerf it. The entirety of our effort lay in a smoldering passion heap. I braced against your rancorous buffeting, avowing a certain hesitant relief at our freedom from that mocking sigil. The uncanny arrival of the letter, however, heralded a new, pernicious phase of our investigation. I'm here cheering, thinking I chose yes. Unfortunate. Your sanctum, adrift in this bituminous nightmare. Technically, we can max out a character now. Now we can go for random groups. Now we just start unlocking stuff with the hope candles. Probably just lock unlock like every in item. 
or something. But that's going to be it for me. It's 8 o'clock. Thanks for being here. You've been awesome. I'll see you all tomorrow at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. If you enjoyed my stream, do me a favor, hit the follow button. Love to see you back here again. Other than that, I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.